All right. Do we want to show the box that it comes in? Just did. There you go, Mike. Hi, I'm Michael from Generation 3 Electric. This is video number two in an ongoing series of videos about how to connect a power transfer kit, what's involved, and what you get in the kit. Today we're going to focus on exploring what's in the box. You have a series of equipment, starting with the power transfer, the actual unit that switches power off from the panel. There is a simple patch cord that goes and attaches to the generator, powers up from the generator, powers up the panel in the house through the transfer switch, and the means of powering up the transfer switch is this receptacle. Where do we want to mount that transfer switch? Hmm? So where, where do we want to mount that transfer switch now? Oh, you want it? Yeah, we're oh, okay. Transfer switch gets mounted into your panel. And in this application, we can probably fit it up. It'll be up a little bit higher. And the direct feed right into the bottom knock gap. Alright. Okay. And may as well show roughly where the other components would get mounted. This would go outside the house. Any place that you feel is a good location for a generator, this must be within six to eight feet of the actual generator. Oh, if that opens up, that's uh, what's inside that? This opens up, and this is how you power up your house from your generator. This will get mounted outside your house. A 10-3 or 8-3 wire would go from this to your main panel through the transfer switch. Okay. And in the next series, we'll explore the actual connection through the panel and the mounting and wiring of the receptacle device.